Pisces, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for September 6th through the 12th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. What's up? the overall energy for the reading the ace of cups brand new beginning in love good uh in the recent past the ace of swords the nine of pentacles the seven of swords i see this as being something of an energy where you started to work on yourself you started to feel good doing that but then i see kind of like an abandonment of that energy so you were on the right track with that and it's not like you got derailed or anything. For some reason, something else may have entered your energy where it required uh, your attention. I'm not sure. There's an energy of independence here. It was building up. It was working out. It was beautiful until, oops, let me put that on pause for now, you know? Um, in the current situation, the Ten of Cups, the Fool, the Page of Swords. Wow, that's beautiful. Somebody really wants to take a chance here on love, on happiness. They're kind of shy about it, though. They're like, yeah, I feel it. It's strong. I really want it. I'm kind of scared a little bit. So I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to approach it in a very cautious kind of way. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Tempers card, the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess. All right. Okay, so back to working on being in touch with yourself more, you know, because there's, again, I see that path opening up in the past where you worked on yourself, um, growing, learning, all sorts of things about you in particular. And then I see because you, you because you haven't quite reach that place of being comfortable in that energy of independence of freedom within yourself now you're kind of looking at this new energy coming in which is again a brand new beginning of love it's popping up here and it could be like mm, i'm a little scared of it i'm gonna approach it but i'm a little scared and then it's passing into that zone of oh let's get deep into things let's get deep into myself into growth basically a lot of it so let's clarify. Let me clarify the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> See, there's that whole notion again. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Ace of Cups. The same kind of energy, right? Self-nurture, self-care, all of that that you put towards self. And it kind of, it kind of placed you into this energy of love is possible love is out there love is for me and it did open up to that possibility for you so in any kind of way it did it didn't have to be that knight on a white horse approaching you not that even with friends with family you know there's a different kind of energy that you're feeling towards that uh when you start looking into yourself more and taking care of yourself more but i see you getting distracted by that almost you know you you worked so long to reach a goal and then you fall into that where you stop paying attention to you. But paying attention to you and working on yourself constantly, that's what sustains that energy. It might be there, it might be beautiful, it might feel beautiful, it might feel new. But it, if it doesn't have that backbone where it's you and you work on you, you know, it might fade at some point. Um, which is okay, it's a lesson to be learned. Let's see that Seven of Swords there in the recent past. Although it's kind of speaking to the same energy of... All right. For the Seven of Swords, you get the Temperance card, the Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Um, 
yeah, there was, there was just more to work on and there always is, right? Uh, but sometimes we get to that point of feeling progress in a certain aspect. If we start working on ourselves, on ourselves, we feel progress here and there. And then we're like, I'm done. I'm complete here. Look at me. My life has changed. I changed. I'm fine. I'm a completely different person. But again, you got to sustain that different person. You got to keep on working, right? It's constant work. So I kind of see this almost like a detachment because you were done, you were fine, you were completed. Um, but that's when logic stepped in for you. And that's why you detached yourself from. So you, you may have fallen into that place of, well, let's be practical about things too, right? I gotta pay my rent, I gotta do this and that and the other. So everything needs to be calculated. And that's when you take away from you because what you are functioning on, it's not necessarily logic, it's feeling. Um, hmm. let's do the Ten of Cups in the current situation. The Death card, the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups. Love as you knew it is gone, basically. It's starting to feel different. It's starting to look different. It's starting to just be different as a notion, as your perception around love probably changed here. Because if you did grow energetically, vibrationally, then you're going to start feeling things a little bit different, a little more intense, a little more love is still there, but it's being felt different by you, uh, which is very cool to see that you're in that place. Let's do the fool. It could be intimidating though, because it takes out this page of swords here. Yeah, bam, bam, bam. For the fool, you get the four of pentacles, the two of cups, the five of swords. You're still trying to hang on to the old notion of love, which could embody a person. So what that person brought to the table, or even multiple people from previous relationships you've had, they carry a certain vibration with that love that they bring to the table, right? But what you're doing is transitioning from viewing that love a little bit different and I feel like you're having a little bit of a hard time letting go of that old vibrational love um you dig the new way of feeling love you're just resistant to letting go of the, the old one and you know it's deceptive you know you're eventually going to be uh not forced to but you're going to be feeling like you're forced to because the new energy is stepping in and it's not going to have room because of the old energy. And if the old energy is not gone, then the two energies are going to come in conflict. And then you're going to come in conflict with yourself. <laughs> Basically. Let's do the Page of Swords. In the current situation, Eight of Wands, the Tower, the Five of Pentacles. You're scared. You're scared of losing the old love, the new love, the whatever love. Whichever love. You're carrying a sense of fear around losing things that feel of importance to you. Um, you're scared to talk. You're scared to express how you feel because if you do, who knows? What if you lose whatever you've got here going on? What if you don't? And what if you do? Not speaking about how you feel and not portraying how you feel in words or clarity around that for you it's just not doing justice to you, you know, but you definitely carry a little bit of fear of losing things if you do speak up about how you feel. Well, then don't. And that'll make you um, lie to yourself, basically. You know, so it's these two choices. Do I lie to myself? but I don't lose something that I feel it's important to me. And when you do lie to yourself, you lie to the thing that you're hanging on to, that you're scared of losing too, by the way. Um, or am I honest about how I feel? And let's just see what happens. Yeah. Let's do the temperance card in the immediate future. Page of Wands, the justice card, the hangman. Okay. 
See, this is a whole new energy. This is an energy surrounded by fear. This is an energy surrounded by... More by curiosity, more by let's see what happens. If I do this, let's see what happens. Because this energy is coming from a place of no expectations, no control. The previous energy, com energy comes from a place of possibly wanting to control the situation because you don't want to end up hurting. Because you've lost before and you're going to lose again if you do this and that and the other. And that's control, that's expectation. This new one... It's going to take a while for you to step into it, but I see you stepping into it. Um, and I don't see you going out there in the world and shouting to the world, look at this discovery I've made about my honesty to myself. I see you taking this energy and just observing it and just see how it plays out in your life, basically, here and there, you know? Uh, where things do start to fall into place once you step into this energy of truth to yourself. For the Knight of Pentacles, you get the King of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Moon. Oh man, you got confidence, but you're hiding it. And remember what I told you? Somewhere close to the beginning of the reading that you're shy about something. And you do show up like that. But you show up like that because you're actually scared. You're growing into... A lot more confidence here, but you're still not showing it. You know, and that's okay. There's still work to be done in this department, which is fine. You're taking it one day at a time with this Knight of Pentacles. So it's a slow moving kind of energy of building up your confidence, but you're going to get there. It's there. I see it. You may not see it yet with the moon being here. And of course, that's your energy too, but it's a hidden kind of energy. It's a deep energy. For the High Priestess, you get the Knight of Pentacles again, the Hermit, the Four of Wands. Wow. Ouch. You're, you're, you're going to be fine. <laughs> you're, you're heading into a very nice, deep, settled, balanced, stable, loving place, basically. Uh, and it's starting to develop sometime here in these future energies. Um... And it does look like it's a slow process, but I don't see you necessarily losing your patience through it. I see you kind of taking it as it comes. And then you fall into the perfect place at the perfect time, you know, whenever the time comes. I don't know when that is. You you will know. But it's going to um, help this energy with not only one commitment that shows up here, but with all of them. You know, uh, this is a nice reading. Let's see what the universe has. Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Two of Wands. All right, so this may all start from a sense of confusion around a bond you have with somebody. It could be a friendship, it could be a work situation, it could even be love, why not? But I feel like you've been waiting there in this self-entrapment kind of energy, right? You're stuck in your head about it. You don't know what to do about it. And time has stopped for you because you're only thinking about this, basically. Um, and this is why things start shifting for you here, where you step into a new place of seeing things, a new place of feeling things. And then it'll take you into this beautiful, crazy energy that shows up here. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. See you next time. Bye.